Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I am going to do a video on putting together Keely's bouquet. Keely is getting married this weekend and she has chosen all white blooms, which quite honestly you can never go wrong with. All white blooms are, are always so elegant and pretty in my opinion. I'm going to start her bouquet. This is just a traditional hand tied bouquet and I am going to use an armature in this bouquet. This is, um, this is just chicken wire. It is what I've made is just a small little it almost looks like a little tiny pillow. And I took just a small piece of chicken wire, I wrapped it around, and I pinched it together, and it's just making an armature. Now what an armature is, is it's a grid that holds all my flowers in place. It also helps with making my flowers have, um, have space for each flower and not using my hydrangeas as the grid, but using my chicken wire as the grid. So my hydrangeas will show up pretty in the bouquet. I'm going to start out. I have taken each of my flowers and I have prepared them to go into this bouquet by removing all the foliage and the thorns and any rose petals that didn't look pretty. I went ahead and prepared all of my roses. I also took my foliage and I'm going to use eucalyptus, just different varieties of eucalyptus. I cut those in small pieces so it would be easy to work with. And I took all the foliage off of my hydrangeas. I'm going to start by holding my armature and placing the stem of my hydrangea right down through the, the little holes in that chicken wire armature, okay? And I'm going to take the second stem and I'm going to tuck that bloom right in. Okay, just like that. And you see what it's done is it's kind of separated those blooms. So when I hold it in my hand, all those blooms are not pressed against one another. Um, so already it has separated the blooms enough that they are actual individual flowers and they're not quite so tight. Um, so I just took those and tucked those right in. So it's a very nice size. I'm going to show you the back side. So here is that armature on the back side, and you can see my stems are just, just um, inserted into that armature. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I am going to take my roses and I am going to start placing them into my bouquet. So I'm gonna take those roses and I am going to insert their stems right down into that that grid, that wire grid. Now when you go to do that, be sure that you leave some a little higher in the bouquet and some tucked in a little tighter. Um, that way it gives it a little bit of depth. But I'm just slowly working those roses right down into that grid. And you can see how they're not pressed against one another. They've got a little bit of, of space between, and it just gives it, um, it just gives it a little more room. So I'm just working those right down into that bouquet, all the way around. Now, Keely asked that this bouquet be um, just a pretty round hand-tied bouquet, not too large. So you just slowly add in your roses. But it's already coming together so beautifully, so easy. This to me makes the, it's the easiest way to tie a bridal bouquet. So see how pretty and, and full it is. Had I not used that grid, that armature, all the flowers would be right up against one another and they wouldn't be nearly as large and full. You know, my bouquet would be harder to make this large without a lot of flowers. So 
So just slowly I'm taking those stems and I could have cut these stems down a little bit. I didn't, but I should have probably. So I wouldn't have to feed quite such long stems down into the arrangement. So slowly but surely. And you can also, you don't even have to feed all of the roses down into the grid. You can actually just catch them and lay them on the side. That's completely okay. So that you can make sure that you get your roses all the way around. All right. So my roses are in place. Now I am going to take and trim off these stems with just my snips. And the reason I'm trimming off the stems is because, and I'm just taking those snips and just trimming those stems. Don't trim them too much because you want to have enough stems to tie, but it's just kind of awkward with all these long stems. So that makes it just a, a little easier to handle. I'm gonna just take these stems and drop them right in, in my garbage can. Next, I'm going to come in with some Lizzie Anthus. Now, Lizzie Anthus, oh, it's, it's, my, it's one of my favorite blooms. Lizzie Anthus is a lacy little flower, lots of soft petals, comes in lots of colors, but I love the buds of Lizzie Anthus. So I don't know if you can see them, but these tiny little buds are just so lovely. So I'm just gonna work this Lizzie Anthus right down into this same grid. And I'm holding that bouquet kind of up against my body because it's a little hard to hold. So I'm gonna see if I can't find that stem and I'm gonna work it. I'm just grabbing that stem and just working that flower right down into that bouquet. And I'm just working that stem right down into that armature. And be careful with those stems, you'll pop a bloom. I find that Lizzie this is a little brittle. It's interesting how those stems pop pop pretty easy. So when you're working them down in there, kind of be careful because those little heads of those buds will pop right off. So I like to grab that stem and just kind of work him right down into that bouquet, just like that. And I'm just taking that stem and working him right down into that bouquet. Now, what these little buds are doing is they give us just a different texture, a different, a different color. It's got a little bit of a soft green, which I think is such a lovely addition to this bouquet. Okay, I'm gonna have ooh, a petal. I have one more bloom. And then we are going to add our greenery. Okay, so there are our flowers in place. I'm going to take my snip. I'm gonna just trim up that Lysianthus because they're kind of long. Okay, I'll throw those away. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my greenery right down into this bouquet. Um, not too much greenery, but we do want movement. We don't want it to look um, so compact and so such a white almost like an ice cream cone when you have no foliage it almost looks just like a round scoop of vanilla ice cream um, which is lovely if that's what you're what you like that's perfectly okay I don't mind um, making a bouquet without foliage but for me personally, foliage makes the arrangement, okay? So I'm taking this foliage. This is actually just a type of eucalyptus. And I am taking this eucalyptus and I am, I am just laying it all the way around this bouquet. I'm just holding it in my hand and coming all the way around. I like that the eucalyptus gives it some movement, but see how what a difference the eucalyptus makes. That's a little long, so I'm just going to pinch it off. And then you can actually work a little bit of that foliage, strip some of those leaves, work a little bit of that foliage down into that bouquet if you want to. Actually, this this little piece of greenery had a few marks on it and I don't like to use it. 
um, and a bouquet. So I just pulled and I'm just going all the way around. Now the one thing you really want to make sure when working with an armature, you want to make sure you cover that grid. I don't want her to pick this bouquet up and say, well, what's that, what's that silver wire doing in this bouquet? That's something I would prefer it, it completely be covered. It's important that they don't see all the mechanics that go into it. It's not necessary. <laughs> And quite honestly, it's not pretty. So I like to make sure that I am going to cover all of those mechanics with my greenery. If you see a bloom in that bouquet that's not pretty, pull that right out and throw that away. Um, it's not going to hurt the bouquet. Here's some seeded eucalyptus. Add a little bit of seeded eucalyptus to my bouquet. And like I said, I'm just going around the flowers and putting that greenery all the way around the base. Now my hand is beginning to get tired, so I am going to show you how I like to tie my flowers. Okay, so I think we have plenty of foliage. And once you stand back and look at it, you can remove anything. Like if this is a little too much, I can pinch some of that out. But there's our bouquet. Now this one little guy sticking in here all by himself, I'm gonna move him. I'm gonna tie him off and I'm gonna look at it again and see if it needs any foliage in the center. And if it does, I'll add it. So next, my next step is, I'm gonna move that to the side. I'm going to take my waterproof tape. It's just green waterproof tape. Now I prefer to use tape over anything else. Tape does not cut into the stems. So I'm gonna just take that waterproof tape. I'm gonna lay it up underneath one of my fingers here. And I'm gonna go around and around those stems with that tape. Now the one thing I find that makes this tape wonderful, it's green like the stems, so it doesn't show up too terribly bad. And it's easy to cut loose if I need to cut it loose. I go around a good many times because I don't want it to break, okay? Tear that tape. So there is my, my taped stems, okay? I'm gonna trim this one little guy sticking now. So let me show you how I cover that tape. I'm gonna just lay that bouquet right down on that table. And I am going to grab, this is white number nine double face satin. If you don't have double face satin, it's not um, that terribly important. You can use just floral satin. I'm gonna cut a strip about 18 inches long. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a couple of corsage pins. I am going to lay this ribbon right here on top of my tape. Okay, you can see how I just laid it on top. I'm going to come tightly around those stems with that ribbon. And as you go around, just pull it tight. What you're doing is you're covering up that tape and just making a pretty um, band around those flowers. I like to finish this off by folding that, that ribbon over because it gives it a pretty finish right there at the, um, right there at where I folded it. I'm gonna take my corsage pin and I am going to push it into this bouquet, into that ribbon, but I'm pushing the actual pin itself toward the flowers. So I'm taking it and I'm pushing it right in to that ribbon and I'm pinning that ribbon in place. And what it's doing is it's making buttons on my ribbon, okay? Now, um, push it up toward the flowers. Therefore, those um, pins are not sticking down into the stems where the bride is actually going to hold it in her hand. So this 
is a bridal bouquet in all white blooms. And the only blooms I used were um, roses, hydrangeas, and white lisianthus with some really pretty mixed um, eucalyptus. Um, guys, I hope that this helps. Let me tell you one trick. Um, when you're talking to your brides um, and you hand her her bouquet, the one thing I always suggest to my brides about holding her bouquet is hold this bouquet down right at your belly button. Right at your belly button because that way when you're taking your pictures it's not up here in your face. Our brides get nervous and the first thing they do is like they're carrying a torch and it's it's so much prettier if you'll hold it down here on your waist hold it right there in front of your belly button and it's just a prettier presentation it's a prettier picture um so always remind them think about your belly button when you're holding your bouquet guys i hope this helps if you have any questions about how i put this bouquet together don't hesitate to send that in the comments and be sure to be on the lookout for our live videos we try to go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays here on YouTube. Um, so keep a lookout and you'll see us soon. Thank you so much.